down here. And welcome back. Not down here. Down here. Welcome back to another video video because I'm going to show you five golden knights Fred at Freddy's all jump scares. And yeah, let's just watch. And I know it's going to be a little bit blurry. But yeah, let's watch. Who's on the Foxy, Foxy. Oh, five golden nights at Freddy's. I'm gonna do it. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on. Had to give something to my mom. Okay. Now what's on my mouth? There. You can watch. Alright guys, welcome to Five Golden oh. Nights at Freddy. Now before this video starts, I need okay, to know, I know this one. guys. I want to start a new series. Now unfortunately, Dead Space and SCP are going to have to come to a stop. One SCP, the game file, my save file, apparently it got deleted. I don't know how, but it's not there. So that one's unfortunately going to have to stop. And then Dead Space, you can... Oops. You guys weren't enjoying it, so I decided to stop that one. Also, now I want to start a new one. Now the thing about this one is, it's going to be completed. But I just know, I just need you guys' support on the series, and I need to know what game you guys want me to play. Okay. So there's two games, alright? Okay. One being Resident Evil 5. Both of these I've already recorded the first episode for. One being Resident Evil 5, the other one being Bloodborne. Now, Bloodborne just came out. It's got amazing reviews. Mm -hmm. It looks like a lot of fun. But Resident Evil 5, it's a little older, but it's still a lot of fun. And um, I think you guys will enjoy both of them. But I need you guys to go and vote right now in the description. And um, once those videos, whichever one does come out, just show a lot of support on them. I really appreciate it. Give you the video. Just give it a chance. I know it's not that great, but definitely give the video a chance. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it. But anyways, let's get into the game, all right? So remember, check the first link in the description. That's his mouth, not mine. <laughs> Little tiny bit, baby. So I because I'm on the computer. I'm on the computer. I'm actually going to skip the call because I know you guys might not like this, but I, I played this game before and I couldn't understand it. I know. I'm sorry, I couldn't understand the call. I don't know what's wrong with me. But anyways, basically the point of this game is it's got a really cool idea and I really like it. Um, the animatronics, right now there's only one, but they run back and forth. And you have to put on the mask. As you can see right now, we're going to see... What is that? What the heck is that? Is that Bonnie? Oh yeah, it's Bonnie holding a, a guitar. That's creepy. Um, they kind of run by, and um, it gets slowly harder as we go on. But uh, I'm going to try to beat the game in one sitting here, alright? So, um, obviously we've got some posters here. Keep calm and play Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, we've got some more child drawings. You know, he tried his best. And then we've got the ending uh, little pictures right there. And, um, Sorry, it's a little bit actually, I probably so you can't see call, I actually forgot. Um, I recorded this before, but the audio got messed up. But the whole phone call basically lasts the entire night, and um, the nights only tend to be about three to four minutes, if I remember correctly. Because like I said before, I did play a little bit of this game, I got to like the third night, but um, after that I just kind of, I realized, wait a second, the recording's messed up and I had to stop. But um, basically, this is the map right here, there is no camera system, there's just this, I guess you'd call it a camera system, but you'll see them run 
by and you just gotta try to put on your mask as quickly as possible. Um, there's Spring Trap and I guess Bonnie, I didn't know there was Bonnie. There's Spring Trap, Freddy, and I guess Bonnie and I think Balloon Boy. Yeah, Balloon Boy's also in this game. And he's a little difficult because you actually have to do something. I don't know what to do to get him off you. I think you, that's how I died in the last one. And I was like, oh wait, I should probably check to see if everything's going okay with the video. And it wasn't. But <laughs> anyways, we're almost at 4 or 6 a.m. All right, guys, so we were coming up to the end of the night. I just want to skip that because there was really nothing going on. But you've got this weird thing coming. I've never seen the square before. I don't know what, oh, uh, what the heck? All right, that was kind of weird. It's like right before it's about to attack. It just ends like that. Okay. That's creepy. <laughs> I wonder what that one was. I think maybe the, the, chain, the squares are different colors, depending on what animatronic they are. So, like, a yellow one might be Chica, and then, like, a blue one will be Bonnie or something. All right, so night two. This is where things get a little bit more exciting here. We're going to get um, the animatronics all kind of coming at us at one one time here. So, here we go. All right, so yellow. We've got a yellow and a red one. I'm going to mute the call again. Oh, crap. I didn't, I didn't see him coming. Just because I, I know you guys might get mad at me for muting it, but I can't understand it, and most likely you guys aren't going to be able to understand it either. And in, in past games, I've actually, you know, um, turned up the calls you guys can hear, and you guys all tell me in the comment section, you guys can't understand most of them. So I don't know what's up with the, the microphones these people are using, but apparently they're not very good. Okay, there's spring trap. All right, so yeah, that's kind of the unique aspect of the game here, the, the unique thing, the unique gameplay side of this game. And it's the fact that they don't just pop up randomly, or there is no, um, you know, watching them on the cameras. There's just this one giant map, and they're going to be running back and forth, and you basically just got to have good timing here. Now, I don't know if there's, like, a toxic meter where if I keep the mask on for too long, I'll die. I actually don't know that. But um, from my understanding, though, there isn't one. So, I mean, that raised the question as to can I literally just keep this mask on 24-7 and just beat the night? I don't know. I think... I'm sure he added something in to where that you can't do that. Um, maybe in terms of Balloon Boy, because I know he's in the game. Oh my god, that Spring Trap running across is so creepy looking. Because he's so, like, out of place. Like, and you're used to him running it's across the window with Life Phase 3, but not right? just full body running past you full speed like this. It's really creepy. Alright, 3 a.m., guys. We're almost to night oh, 3. Now it's Before 3 things do get pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. Um, mostly just because I don't know what to do with Balloon Boy. But I think once we figure that out, um, it should be decently easy. But I, oh, I hope he fixed the save glitch, too. Like, there was a problem um, in the last version of this game I played where if you saved, it wouldn't save your game. Like, if you lost, you lost, and you'd start all the way back from night one. So I glitch. really hope he fixed that. And I, I don't think the colors actually, um, I don't think the colors, you know, depend on what animatronic it is, because red doesn't exactly fit Freddy, and yellow could fit Springtrap. Because he is yellow, but I don't I don't think he actually color coded the squares. But I mean, if you're watching this, that's actually a pretty good idea. I don't know if you'll agree with me, but um, just color coding them so you know which animatronic is which. But he might have already done that. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, what the heck? The marionette. Why is the marionette on the walls? I don't I don't know why the marionette's on the walls right now. I've never seen this before. Is he? Is this new for the update? All right, whatever. 